Our world has finite resources. We all know that we can no longer continue to abuse it as we have in the past. At Balfour Beatty, we recognise just how critically important it is and we also realise that we need to do something about it now. This is why we have created our ambitious vision and roadmap to help transform Balfour Beatty into a fully sustainable business. We have put this at the heart of our business strategy. We want to lead our sector in sustainability and grow our business through the provision of more sustainable infrastructure. It's a huge undertaking, but an essential one. We are uniquely placed to make a positive difference through our people, our global presence and capabilities across the infrastructure life cycle. We need to be focused, dedicated and determined and most importantly, recognise that sustainability is our collective responsibility. Our approach to sustainability generates profitable growth. We want customers to choose Balfour Beatty because we contribute to their long-term profitability through sustainable infrastructure. At Port Botany, Sydney, Australia, we're building facilities that will transform the regional economy. The Port Botany expansion covers over 2 million square metres. It's designed to double the container handling capacity of the port servicing Sydney and New South Wales. But the project also focuses on creating a more sustainable environment. This has transformed what was a heavily degraded area into a prime area that's been enhanced and sustainable for the migratory birds, the flora and fauna, and for the public that use the area. 4,000 kilometres west in Perth, Australia, we built an Olympic standard pool complex. The Challenge Geothermal System heats up to 10 million litres of water in four different swimming pools. By using renewable energy, we have reduced the carbon footprint of the stadium by up to 50%. In Hong Kong, we are constructing a spectacular building in a densely populated area with reduced impact on the environment and the local community. The uh, columns are being cut and uh, fabricated in our factories in China. The painting works is also being done in the uh, China factories. So it helps to save the uh, energy consumption on site. It helps to improve the air quality on site as well. This project is the first LEED Platinum project in Hong Kong. Sustainability will help to drive profitable markets in two key ways. By creating greater added value and helping differentiate ourselves from our competitors. Sustainability isn't just about being green or fitting a bed in our community, it's also about growing our business and winning new work. There are big growth opportunities in the green economy, such as wind, carbon capture, and waste to energy projects. Balfour Beatty is well placed to capitalize on this multi-trillion pound market by being able to offer a range of solutions at every stage of the project life cycle. From our expertise in funding, right through to our facilities management and energy services. The people who work for us, with us, and the communities we serve are all incredibly important. At Westborough Primary School in Essex, UK, we've made the building more sustainable through installing photovoltaic panels, increased insulation and a biomass boiler. But equally important is the enhanced learning environment we've created for teachers and students. I always think this is amazing because you think you know what you're going to get. But until we did that first assembly with the children in the hall, I had no idea the difference, for example, with the acoustics changed and the double glazing, and it's just changed and transformed the whole building for the whole community. Outside Milan in Italy, we've developed high voltage compact transmission lines, which lower the visual impact on the area and have a reduced electromagnetic field. The electromagnetic fields from compact line are reduced compared to the traditional lines. This enables the line to be placed closer to sensitive receptors such as house and other buildings. 
on the West Island Link, Kennedy Town Station and Overrun Tunnel Project in Hong Kong. We've undertaken a number of initiatives to reduce the impact on the local neighbourhood by using fewer lorries and working under an acoustic hood. Another first on this project has been the use of caring ambassadors. And again, Gammon have made very good use of this to liaise with the local community, ensure that our impact on them is minimal. Balfour Beatty Communities provides high quality homes and buildings for military personnel and their families at over 40 bases across the US. At Vandenberg Air Force Base in California, Listening to what residents say has helped us to get it right. The process with Rainbow Park, it started one day I noticed um, they had taken down one of the slides and replaced it with a, a simple brown one. And, and I said, you know, I can't call it Rainbow Park anymore because there's no rainbow. The project really has just taken off and, and it's, it's incredible how much color has, has really come out. Balfour Beatty Communities restored the rainbow using unwanted paint from the base. In 2010, Vandenberg Air Force Base increased the customer satisfaction levels 10%, which ranked them the third most productive uh, project in the entire Air Force. This all helps to increase occupancy rates on the base and grow our business. Here in Sacramento, California, We've created a low-impact construction project to build a surface water treatment plant. This has also had a beneficial effect on the local community and economy. Over the three years of this job, uh, we've had the opportunity to employ over uh, 300 local craftsmen, uh, probably 450 total with all subcontractors on site for four years, which has brought a lot of uh, economy to the local businesses and area. Taking a lead on sustainability issues means we're better placed to help customers and to prepare for a changing climate. In major cities, we're rethinking how we run our project sites to make them more sustainable. At Exhibition Road in London, we have undertaken a number of initiatives, including using electric vehicles to reduce CO2 emissions and siting our office in a museum. Getting the, the office situated uh, within the museum land, we were able to get mains connection for electricity, for sewage, for water, uh, and it's avoided having to have uh, fuel tankers and waste tankers driving in and out of central London. We believe all our employees have a role to play and we value their contributions, no matter how small they might seem. I came up with the idea that we should have this reuse shelf so that residents can put something on the shelf, take something off the shelf. The result is a simple way for residents to avoid sending hazardous materials to landfill. Innovation is a key part of our 2020 vision and roadmap. On our major road projects, we lead the way in reusing waste and byproducts such as power station ash, car tires and glass. The A46 in Nottinghamshire was our first zero waste to landfill project in the UK. By 2020, we're aiming for zero waste to landfill on all our projects. We are also using innovation to reduce our impact on site. The Ecolution Static Welfare Unit, jointly developed with Genquip, is the most sustainable system on the market, reducing CO2 emissions by up to 80%. The Ecolution Unit behind me is a unique product to Balfour Beatty. We came up with a design that, that gave us a sustainable and zero harm solution that would allow the Balfour Beatty sites to deliver self-contained welfare on their projects. Ladybird Johnson School is the largest net zero middle school in the US and the first in Texas. The building generates more energy than it consumes. On this project, we have all kinds of renewable energy sources, the first of which that you can see are wind turbines. Uh, the roof is covered uh, with solar panels. There's approximately 3,000 of those. This is uh, the geothermal system that uh, provides the heating and cooling uh, for the rooms. The goal was to take a look at the design and totally change it to become more sustainable. And while we build the West Island Line Kennedy Town Station and Overrun Tunnel, we're protecting some of Hong Kong's most loved trees. These Chinese banyan trees growing on the wall over 100 years old. During the construction stage, we employ an independent tree specialist to regularly monitor the health condition of the trees. Like these banyan trees, Balfour Beatty is over 100 years old. 
To continue our success and growth over the next 100 years, we need to be even more sustainable as a company with the communities we are close to and the businesses we work with. Balfour Beatty operates at every stage of the infrastructure life cycle. We are in over 80 countries with over 50,000 employees, ensuring we are well placed to take a leading position to drive through change and real tangible benefits. Our 2020 vision and roadmap, which we launched in 2009, our centenary year, demonstrates how important the issue of sustainability is for us and for society at large. We have set ourselves some ambitious targets. Whilst we are totally focused on meeting these, they're only half of the story. For us, sustainability is also about how we grow our business and differentiate ourselves. How we identify new opportunities and work with our supply chain to develop innovative new products and services to capitalise on them. We know that we have to embed our vision into the hearts and minds of all our employees and work closely with our customers, partners and supply chain to deliver more sustainable solutions. Balfour Beatty is a world-class infrastructure business and we firmly believe sustainability is both a necessity and an opportunity and that it is also our collective responsibility.